Baby, she's over there combing her baby hair. Combing her baby hair. Who gets to the school and comb their child hair, you guys? Who does that? This is the stuff that I deal with. She combing her baby hair at the school. Combing her baby hair, you guys. And we're going to post this video because this is what they do. They sit there and comb their baby hair. This is why people like Nipsey Hussle got killed. By our own people, our own black people, you guys. We will sell our souls for each, sell our souls for a dollar in a minute. In a minute. I'm so upset because people are losing their lives for people like that. She combing her baby hair again, waiting for a little old me. And yes, I'm upset. Like Drake say, I'm upset. Because black people need to wake up. They are the ones that's always claiming to be oppressed, but it's the ones oppressing themselves. They can't blame nobody else. That man right there is another one. I'm filming all of them. Because like Nipsey Hussle said, this situation is in the eyes of those who want to see. Too many people are trying not to see you guys point blank in the period so everybody that's targeting me i'm going to expose them in their face i'm not i don't have no fear unfortunately i don't have no fear i was raised up in la county just like this man who was killed trying to expose the truth unfortunately he knew that this was going to happen to him you guys he knew this was going to happen to him the thing i just want to say real quick because a lot of people think why are you so angry and why are you so much trying to defend a guy who was a gangbanger? The key word, formal gangbanger. Formal. God said, come to me all day at labor for I'll give you rest. Rest for your soul. Meaning, if you were the person that maybe back then strived and did something wrong, he never said, you never, it's never too late to come to me and lay down your burdens for I'll give you rest okay so I feel that yes some people grow up in societies where all they know is wrong for doing is called a learned behavior you are a product of your environment unfortunately right so when you are a product of your environment you don't know wrong but if you grow up and you become independent within your mindset you start to see wrong and start to want to do better right so this is what this man did. He grew up and said, oh my gosh, I don't want to be a gang. This is not the life. There goes that same girl at all. I told you she comes every day. It's all good. Black, another black person. It's like the black people are so easy to convince to go against each other, y'all. This is so sad. And yes, I have anger in my voice. I'm trying to be calm and speak to you with passion and intelligence. But unfortunately, when you can't control your emotion at time like this, the words don't come out right. So be patient with me. Okay, let me get back to the topic. Okay, so this man, back on the subject, Nissy Hubsa, why this is so important to me to get this story out. Why this is so important to me to be the one to be his voice because he don't have no voice no more. Before this happened, this man went to Twitter, went to different social media pages and said, if something happens to me, can you guys please ride for me? Meaning that he said, because I'm doing this documentary, he knew that they was coming for him for speaking the truth because the person that he is trying to speak about, they already came for him. The person that he's trying to speak about, Dr. Sebi, Dr. Sebi, and I spelled it wrong, it's S-E-B-I, sorry for you guys. Forgive me when i all over the place with my emotions. Sometimes I just speak without thinking. Back to the topic again. Dr. Sebi said, when he found the different cures, his mother told him, oh, no, 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 they're going to come for you. I know you try to do the right thing, but they're going to come for you. And what, he meant, what she meant by they're going to come for you is because the elites don't play with their money. You are taking money from these people, okay? When you start messing with people, money, they come for you. Like me, I am conducted a lawsuit. That's why I feel they coming for me. They like you messing with our money. We gonna try to silence you, okay? So long story short, you guys, I grew up in a city, the um, county of Los Angeles. My family was born and raised in a very known city. Okay, knew some of these celebrities, some of these gangsters, family members, 
some are gang affiliated okay we actually was in this environment so this is not no he say she say stuff that i'm saying these are stuff from experience some people don't have options the, um there's a psychologist named darwin and it's Darwin theory of evolution, okay, where he says animals, flowers, people are a product of their environment. And these are studies where he said like some, for example, he will say some plants have to have different textures in order to survive. OK, some animals have to have different fur, different features in order to survive. It's the same with um, with humans in their environment. Some people have to unfortunately be a part of a system in order to survive a lot of times there is some kids that's fortunate enough to make it like myself like I said I grew up around gang members but me and my friends were strong enough and had parents to guide us and say that's not the way right but not everybody has that some people parents are gang bangers their brothers are gang bangers their sisters are gang bangers so guess what they become a product of their environment. Okay, I'm not defending anybody that's a game bearer because you do have choices. This man had a choice and this man chose to get out of the gang mentality and help those that are still involved. The day before he died, before he, excuse me, the day after he died, he was supposed to meet with the police authorities to come to create a peace treaty to help stop gang violence, okay? He was putting all this money in the community to help stop gang violence because he said, when you know better, you can do better, right? Okay. On top of all that peace, people got to understand, you think that the police don't run these gangs? You think that the police can't shut these gang downs if they didn't want to? These are trained people that's trained to shoot to kill on sight against a person that doesn't have no proper training that just brought a gun and said, I'm just going to shoot it just in case I, somebody comes against me. The police have the power to shut the gangs down if they wanted to. And there was no gang wars, no gang violence going on right now. Okay, so don't be fooled and thinking that this is a gang tragedy. Okay, because for one, the agenda, when I keep telling you guys, previous videos I always said martial law, martial law. They trying to divide us when they do the black against white martial law. Don't fall for it. If somebody call you the N-I-G-G-A in, in the streets, try to hold your peace because they know that would trigger African Americans to cut up. When I say cut up, I mean get violent, retaliate. Okay, now think about this, you guys. The Nipsey Hussle story. They proclaim him to be a gangbanger from a different rival that supposedly affected him or did whatever they said he did to him so if this gets out and say the rival gang attacked this man nipsey hustle what you think his gang members gonna do let's go get the other gangs let's go fight they are already out there almost rioting in la right now for this man but i hope it's not against each other okay because why now let's implement martial law. We've been waiting for this. We tried to figure out how we was going to get you guys to get out of order. So we have to come in and bring order. Y'all watch how this play out. If the people don't have common sense to know that it wasn't them against them. It's going to be easy for the police to come take a whole city out. Start start shooting everybody. Start locking everybody up in cages. Because now you have control. Martial order means control. What's this man doing? We gonna watch everybody, okay? Cause you don't roll by too many times. I don't trust not near person, okay? There's a parking space clearly right there, clearly right there. You riding back and forth searching for a parking space. We don't play that. So anyway, I just want to let that sit there. I'm sorry for my emotions to be all over the place and not controlled and not speaking with intelligence. But please understand, I am human. I'm not condoning anyone. That is a gang banger, but I'm not condemning them as well. Who are we to judge and cast stones? Okay, I can't cast no stone at nobody who is free of sin. Who is free of sin? I am targeted as well, so I know the struggles that Nipsey was going through. Okay, there was gang bangers targeting me, and I said, I dare you. You out here in the streets doing gang activity and you want to try to target me and let the police know every move I move. They were starting stuff for me, but I had the common sense to not start stuff back. Okay. 
because I knew it was a setup. Like they, okay, long story short, I'm going to end it with this. For example, it was my, um, I had relatives that came over from Compton and it was a neighbor that was in gang activity. I tried to start mess with them. And my peoples was like, oh, we finna call the whole city of Compton to come shut them down. I said, no, because that's what they want. That man is protected. Come on now. I said, he's a low, we call them snitches. I said, a 12. Okay. I said, he's a 12. He worked with the police. As soon as y'all pop off, he going to get away with whatever he do. And our people's going to be in jail. I promise you guys, don't fall for it. Just go cuss the man out and walk away and let him know that don't play with our family. And that's what happened. L true story. God is my witness. Okay. Went over there, knocked on the door, ready to kick the person's door in and cussed them out and left. And that was it. Okay. Long story short. Okay. So that's what I just want to drop that right here and leave it at that. Nothing else to be said. You find your own information, your own logics. All I can speak off of my opinions. Okay, but I'm trying to put my opinions with logics here. Okay, and I hope the logics will help you formulate your own opinion. But please do more research and stop taking everything with the news say because news already saying gang violence. He was a gang member. He was a part. Of, they said he was a part of the gang about five times before they said what the man was not what the man was doing for the community. Okay, I'm just upset because, like I said, we're from L.A. County, so we know. We know how this stuff plays out, okay? But I'm sorry, African-American people, we got to get it together. Stop being so easily manipulated and fooled. Just take time to do research on everything you hear because, like I said, my own family is African-American. They go against me quick off of what they heard. I only got two people in my corner out of my family, which is my friend and my boyfriend. Everybody else done turned against me based up basically off of, I guess, of this slander, whatever is being said. I don't even care anymore. As you can see, she don't care. All right. Talk to you guys later. Please forgive me for just jumping all over the place. Thank you guys for having patience with me and still continue watching. Even though sometimes I say words wrong or sometimes I have emotion and I sound like I'm all over the place because I do. I do love you and appreciate you guys. Even though I don't know you. Like um, Edwin. I feel that's my brother in my head. Okay. I don't even know him. Never talked to him. Off of, besides on social media. But he said. I'd rather die in public than die in my home in silence. Hashtag that. I'd rather die publicly than die in home in my silence. With nobody out. With people not knowing my story. <laughs>